Hey guys, I'm going to um, tell you a few things that are going on that you probably don't know about. Um, when the government shut down, the Bureau of Indian Affairs shut down, which is a, I hate the Bureau of Indian Affairs, but they are the go-between between, between Indians and the federal government and the treaties. And since they are, um, how do I say it, they are not essential employees, the reservations are not getting fuel, food, um, medical care, or anything. And some of the Indians are dying. And no one seems to give it a crap unless you're an Indian. And I think that is the intention, Bureau of Indian Affairs. I know people right now, some people in some states, are saying they don't have their food stamps. But what if your pension was $97 per person a month? And that you had to live off of. Think about that. And that means you'd have to leave your little reservation you were on and go. And this is if you were a Vietnam veteran or a war veteran. That's what they get, the uh, American Indians. So you get it like $100 a month from the government because you served your country. And you have to take care of your wife, who may get like $50 a month. So that's 150 Although you've got a house, you still got to heat it. Um, a lot of Indians don't have TVs and internet, so, and I mean, they really live off the basics, and right now, you're hungry, and they do bring subsidies in, GMO shit, you know, and they're not even doing that now, so the Indians aren't even getting that, and you also have to get medical care, so you're aging, and, and you're trying to heat your home, feed yourself, and um, get medical care, and it's not happening. And you're way up there where it snows, or it, you're anywhere, it doesn't matter. What, what do you do? Well, the Indian says, I agree with them right now. They are saying that their treaties are not being honored, and they want all their stolen land back. And I think it's actually the best thing ever said. But it's not being presented on the news, although most Indian reservations are saying this loudly. They want all their stolen land back, because the treaties have never been honored. I'm going to leave you a link or two, and I'd like you go look at them. It's not that they hate people who live here, but they hate the empire system. People are welcome to live with the Indians in peace and harmony, and they have never minded that. But what they have minded is them being put on prisoner of war camps. This was their land, my ancestors' land, and we are considered prisoners of war. Of what war and what we committed wrong, I don't know. We were very hospitable until we became slaves. That's when we kind of turned violent against them. Nobody wants to welcome somebody onto their land and find out they're slaves. So um, I'm going to leave these links for you. I think you should go read them. And actually, the, first, the one I'm really pointing to is that the Indians are demanding all their stolen land back. You see, the Indians have it within their power if the other people, you people, would stand with them and say... This government is, if they don't honor the first peoples, the original peoples' treaties, are they really going to honor anything else? They've never really, if you think about that Constitution, it was not for every person as it stated because they still believed that the monarchies were supreme. Even when they came here, they did. You, you have to go research this. So it was mainly for, and I've said this before, rich white men because no one else... Um, was deemed, and they had to be rich white men. You you should do some really looking back into American history. It was not a very honorable system, even the Constitution. Um, if it was for every man, as every man thought it was, and every woman should think it was, because we're part of the equation here, um, things would have been different, but that's not how it worked. Um, it didn't work that way. So they made classes of peoples, and, and some don't rank up high. Um, Indians are the last class, and they're the ones that have the highest death rate, and they live in the most poverty, and most of their people will go into the military and serve this country over anybody else because I guess they have nothing better to do than die on a reservation, um, although it's not honorable killing anyone, so it's probably really hard on them to walk in those two worlds. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to leave this for you, that they, they're they demanding all the stolen land back. I think if every American got behind them, that we could form a new government, one that was for everyone.
not just for those few sitting in Washington, D.C. and those bankers behind them and whoever sits behind those bankers that we'll never know who is. We could take back this land. Wouldn't be that hard, but you'd have to just do something. So I'm asking you just read this article and see what you think and tell me what you think below. Peace, love, truth. I'm out of here.